back on April 29th of 2019, I published a video in which I performed a salvage claim on the word particle SEN, S-E-N. You may be familiar with this particle because it makes up the first part of words such as sense, sensation, sentient, and sentence. Now, the individual who was my tutor, who guided me to my closures on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, he brought to the table the concept of getting further closure on the source of where one's claims come from. They come from our senses, our port of sensation. And of course, his name is Colin Raven, hyphen Farhad, hyphen Tohidi, colon Afarin. Much respect, much honor and grace to my friend, my brother, and my tutor. So he brought this concept to the table because he and I would have discussions about this, about, well, we have for the claimant's knowledge of the facts. However, the knowledge can be argued. The knowledge can be incorrect, in which case, of course, you would stop and correct it. However, sensation cannot be argued. And to give you an example of that, and I've used this in the past, if I spill hot coffee on my arm and I yell out, ow, that hurts, you can't tell me that, no, Jason, it doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt at all because it's my sensation. My senses are telling me that it hurts. So... I feel this is why the word sensation is not in any Black's Law Dictionary, nor is it ever used in a fiction court, because you can't argue with it. And as I've said many times in the past, wherever there are facts in the now space, there can be no argument. However, where there are, opi are opinions, people will argue and argue. That's why you have arguments in politics. That's why you have arguments in religion. And it's also why uh, a lot of people over there in that quantum grammar community argue all the time. Here on this channel, it's different because I'm strictly talking about facts. Facts come from your senses. Every time I create a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, document, contract, postal vessel, court, venue... I include one sentence to give closure on the source of where my knowledge of the facts comes from. And it goes something like this. For this claimant sensation of the cognition is with this correct sentence structure, communication, parsi, syntax, grammar, claim of the facts with the knowledge by this claimant, period. Telling you that my knowledge comes from my cognition, my understanding of my senses, five or more. Some people say they're 33. Bottom line, the knowledge comes from the cognition of the facts. So we have all this data and stimuli coming into our port of sensation, our senses, and then they dock, and then we take the, those sensations, formulate knowledge, and then transship them out as claims, i.e. for the claimant's knowledge of the facts, come from our sensations. Well, when I began teaching this and coming out into the public with it, there was some backlash. Individuals such as Colin Russell and J. Colin Gould actually sent me an email. Actually, it may have been a forwarded email, but I do have it on file, where he actually says that SEN is no contract because it's an opinion. And so my problem with that was, well, if SEN is an opinion... SEN makes up part of the word sentence. So correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. You mean to tell me that there's a particle of negation in your own, <laughs> in your own uh, construct that you participate with or that you helped bring to the public? That's interesting. I also had a colon, someone named Colon 
Kalini, who claimed to be a federal postal judge under Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller, who sent me messages saying that SEN is no contract. She doesn't know what world I live on, that SEN is positive performance. And then, of course, was uh, the individual I'm going to address in this video, colon Mark hyphen lowercase k, Kishon, colon Christopher, who totally misunderstood what I was doing in that April 29th salvage claim, which we'll get into in a little bit here, uh, where he claimed that Raven was trying to replace for the claimant's knowledge with for the claimant's sensation, which is not correct at all in any sense of the word. So hopefully this will provide a little bit of clarity for him and for anyone else out there. Uh, but what I'm, the ultimate goal of this video is to show the contradiction in the very, from my position, very large void in correct sentence structure knowledge on his part. Because on July 2nd, 2020, he published a video talking about his interpretation of what Raven was saying about claimant sensation versus claimant's knowledge. And then just recently, on May 16th, 2022, he says the exact opposite, where he says sensation facts come from the senses, which is what I've been saying <laughs> since 2019. April 29th, 2019. So I'm glad Mark has begun learning the grammar and is watching this channel. Uh, if he's going to be starting to publish things that uh, I've been teaching for years now. So here we go. Without further ado, enjoy. This is a public announcement video in which I am going to perform a salvage claim on the word S-E-N, sen, i.e. sense. And the reason I'm doing this is because in the past there has been some question as to the positive performance capabilities of the word S-E-N as it's included in words such as sensation, sentient, or sen and also sentence. Because if you notice, in this fact, correct sent for the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, we have an SEN here. In this word, we have an SEN here. So I will announce now that if this salvage claim does anyone any harm or damage out there, contact me in the confidential at my email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, within one year and one day, stating the damages that this salvage claim has done, giving the details of that, and also providing a solution to this situation of the word sentence as it's used within correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now what I'm going to do, and what this salvage claim will accomplish, is to give a positive prefer performance to the S-E-N as we use it within our language in the factual language of quantum grammar, i.e. correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. So here is Mark's video regarding the word sensation, published over a year after I published mine in 2019. Take one individual, for example, called Raven. He uses Miller's technology to twist and turn it. I will give you an example. 
In Miller's technology, we always speak from first-hand knowledge. So we say, for my knowledge, which means you're not slandering somebody. What he does, goes around telling people, no, it's not knowledge, it's sensation. For your sensation. No, that is not what Raven did. Raven didn't go around telling people, no, it's not knowledge, it's sensation. What Raven did, again, for the umpteenth time, Raven wanted a more concrete, a more foolproof closure on the source of where his claims were coming from. To say they're coming from the knowledge is fine. But where does the knowledge come from? So what Raven did was get more closure, full closure on where these claims are coming from. Come from the claimant's knowledge, which comes from the claimant's cognition of the claimant's sensation. So it wasn't instead of, it was in addition to. It's adding to, giving it more potency. That's what Raven did. Just so we're clear on that. As comical as it is. Luckily, I caught it in advance. Luckily, I caught it before it took root like a cancer and I cut it out. The consequences of this is what we call the colouring of the law. When somebody takes a copyrighted material and alters that, by altering it, you've now moved out of the copyright and you convince enough people that it's sensation rather than knowledge. Before we get into this part of the video where Mark actually uh, confirms what I've been saying since April 29th, 2019, what I've been saying for years that facts come from sensations. Um, notice at the bottom of the screen, there's a ticker that says private, okay? This, this video that he published on May 16th, 2022 is a public video published publicly on his YouTube channel. Why would it have private on the bottom? Now let's get, now let's get to the juicy bit. You see, when you have a fact like this, that's a fact. But if I was to color this fact so much that I get you to believe that it's nothing but a bottle with a white cap on it, that it could be any other things, some other adjectives, then I uh, talk you out of this fact, like your house, your car, your property, and the knowledge that you have, including that you have a death pledge in your life. goes much deeper, much further. That's a fact. Most of you have got debt pledges called mortgages. How did they talk you into that? I'll go further in. So you understand this is a fact. If I was to do this, this would be a belief. It is your belief that there is a bottle behind my hand. You understand this. But it's only presumption and assumption to assume that this came from the back or the inside of my hand, but in reality you have nothing. Until your senses, five senses, six senses, tells you otherwise, cross-referencing each other. Okay, that's, that's a fact. And now I'm going to finish off with a rebroadcast of a condensed version of the salvage that I performed on SEN back on April 29th, 2019. And it's going to go through the parse of the word and showing the continuance of the evidence as to why SEN is actually positive performance. And if anyone out there can show me otherwise using the same detailed continuance of the evidence of how SEN would be no contract, Please contact, contact me at that email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, and let's talk about it.
I'm going to show you the difference now between the particles SE and SEN. First, I'm going to give an example of what I mean. So we have the word secret, E, C, R, E, T. In this word, S, E, performs as its own syllable. Therefore, in the parse of the word, we would parse S, E, and then we would parse C, R, E, T. And in this scenario, we look up the word secret in an etymology dictionary, and we find out that secret means from SE without a part, meaning no, a particle of negation, and in KREI, to sieve, discriminate, distinguish, distinguish, separate. as opposed to the syllable S-E-N as in sensation. Which is three syllables. S-E-N is a syllable unto itself. It is different than S-E. And the continuity of the evidence for that is in the etymology, sensation, a reaction to external stimulation of the sense organs. It comes from sense. Going all the way back to 12th century, perceive. The later, more negative meaning of sense came in the 1680s perceive a fact or situation not by direct perception. That's not what the nativity meaning of it is. So I'm performing a salvage on the S-E-N, i.e. sense, and I'll give a finite mean for that. And the reason why I'm doing that is because S-E-N, as well as appearing in sensation, sentient, send, etc., as its own syllable, it also appears in the word sentence. Before I go any further, I would also like to announce that this salvage claim is open source, which means it's open to the public to use as they wish. And now I would like to give an explanation for my finite mean for my salvage claim on the word S-E-N. My finite mean of the word is for the sen of the finite mean is with this claim of the port conduit of the dock or moor with the cargo of the cognition, cogitation, and certification by a claimant party. Backwards, for a claimant party of the cognition, cogitation, and certification is with the cargo of the dock or moor with the port conduit of this claim with the finite mean by the sen. What that is telling you, what I am conveying with that, is that the senses are a port. My perceptions come to me from the world. They come in through my sensations, the sensations of my senses, my port. And I, as the port authority of my vessel, take jurisdiction over that, over those cargoes of perceptions and in the docking of those cargoes I can formulate knowledge from those to transship out in my factual correct sentence structure claims. That is why I'm performing this salvage claim on the SEN. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel, if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge, 
and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.